of, of, of human history, the way Peter presents it to us, will definitely be a worthwhile servant in God's kingdom. He will definitely be a servant that will, a servant that will, will be worth his salt in God's, in God's kingdom. What Peter presents to us here is, um, and he says it, he says it in verse 1. I mean, this, this are not Peter says in verse 1, it's a reminder. Something you already know. But somebody needs to remind you. I think I said that the last time I was here. Yes. That when preachers stand before you, they're not standing before you to necessarily say anything new. They're standing before you to remind you things you already know that you should never forget. Because if, if these things are not mentioned, you will lose them. They will be lost. And so the, the risk of losing these things is what we want to avoid. And so we will mention them over and over and over again. Peter presents to us three worlds. Three worlds. In verse number 6, which world does he present? Look at verse number 6. In verse number 6 he says, By which the world that then existed perished. So he presents to us, number one, the past world. The past world. Okay? In verse number seven, he proceeds to present to us, he says, but the heavens and the earth which are now preserved. So in verse number six, he presents to us the past world. In verse number seven, he presents to us the present world. Because he says the heavens and the earth which are now, it's something present, currently existing, the present world. He talks about the past world in verse number 6 and he talks about the present world in verse number 7. In verse number 13, what does he say? In verse number 13, Peter proceeds to say, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. So he talks to us about a past world in verse number 6. He talks to us about a present world in verse number 7. And he talks to us about a prospective world in verse number 13. And those are the worlds we want to consider. The past world, the present world, and the prospective world. And these worlds must be clear to anyone serving God. And a clear view of these worlds is fuel to ensure that you will complete the task. And so we take a look at the past world. The past world, Peter says in verse 6, that this world perished being flooded with water that this world the past world was destroyed by flood it's a flood that destroyed the past world so when you think about the past world what should you, what should be ringing and resounding in your mind and in your heart flood 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 it was destroyed by flood when you think about the present world what does peter say about the present world he says the present world the heavens and the earth that now are are preserved by the same word and reserved for fire so when you think about the present world what should be ringing and resounding in your heart and in your mind is fire 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 the present world the past world flood 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 the present world fire 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 and then he speaks about the prospective world. And he says, you know what? The, first, the past world was destroyed by flood. The current present world is, is, is destined for fire. It is destined for fire. This world as we know it is destined for fire. That is what Peter is saying. That is not what I'm saying. That's what scripture is saying. The prospective world, he says, is designed... For forever because when you read it it talks about a dwelling an abiding that is endless so when you think about the prospective 
the prospective world, you think about that which is eternal, endless, forever. So the past world, all that rings and resounds in your heart is flood, flood, flood. The present world, all that rings and resounds in your heart is fire, fire, fire. The prospective world, all that rings and resounds in your heart is forever, forever, forever. You think about that which is endless and eternal. When you think of the prospective, the prospective.